Given a non-empty array of integers, return the third maximum number in this array. If it does not exist, return the maximum number. The time complexity must be an O of n. Okay. Um, huh. <clears throat> okay, I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. I mean, if, this, if, if you only need to return the third max number, you just... Uh, uh, you just pretty much <coughs> keep three variables, right? Uh, I think looking at a brief glance at the kind of the uh, the examples, maybe the the reason why it's uh, uh, hmm. I mean it's, it's kind of a weird like there's a couple of if statements, so maybe people just skip through it and then realize because for example on example three it's actually not in the uh, the original problem statement uh, is that you actually want the third distinctly maximum maximum number, which maybe is not what people intuitive or is not what people's uh, intuition. Because uh, in this case, you have two, two, three, one. I would have actually like without if I haven't read it, I would have returned two as well. But because we want the third maximum distinct number, you actually want a one. So okay, cool. Uh, I mean, I, I think this is pretty straightforward. I mean, we could even even name stuff like max. Second max, something like that, right? Uh, let's just set them to some standard value, uh, non empty array of integers. Hmm. So, I guess uh, hmm. because the input doesn't really tell you what uh, uh, the bounds are, it could actually be negative, uh, which is kind of really annoying uh, in a sense that, um, you know, in theory, you, uh, 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 if if that's just say what we, uh, uh, I mean, well, one is that is an edge case you have to consider. So, like, it may trip you up if you do something like, oh, set max is equal to zero. And that may be something that I would have considered doing just because it's a good set of value. But in this case, we actually can. So, uh, and and I guess the, the case to handle this here is to uh, 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 either have a Boolean value for each one or just keep track of how many maxes are taken. I mean, I guess that's there's nobody. Easy way to do it. Uh, count, let's just do count you to zero then. Uh, max count maybe. Uh, so I do zero. Then we go through the way. I mean, and I think this is just a, a very, you know, it's just an if statement type thing. Uh, return to max kind of, maybe not. This is just my thingy, but. But there may be if statements here, so it's just one of those things that you have to uh, make sure you get things right because uh, there's a lot of potential for kind of typos and edge case mistakes and so forth. Uh, okay, so if let's do the base case, then we just in this case. Can we generalize this a little bit? Yeah, we could probably generalize this a little bit, but like you have an an array of three elements or something like that. But I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think you have to figure out what tolerance you want to uh, uh, have. Uh, for, for like in my mind, this this is going to be like four F statements and like. 10 lines of code, right? In that case, maybe it's okay for me not to, uh, uh, like, like what I'm thinking now is trying to figure out a way to, like, make sure I minimize the number of potential uh, 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 errors, or not even errors, just, like, human errors, like typos and so forth, or, like, copy and paste errors. Uh, for, I think, three things, I think, like, we could just separate it out in different cases, and maybe that will probably be okay. Uh, max times you go to one, then we... Uh, but do I... Huh. Try to also try to do it a little clean as well, but um, I, I think what I'm going to do now is, at least for now, uh, uh, yeah, hmm. Do I want to? Uh, okay, so it, so then in this case we compare max to numtai. Okay.
to be honest, now, now that I'm typing it out, I don't know if I recommend this. So actually, okay, fine. Let me let me actually. Uh, uh, it just feels a little wonky. Uh, and also, like now, now that I'm typing it out, it feels like there's definitely way more potential for mistakes. So let's let's standardize it a little bit, and maybe we could actually now we could generalize a little bit to less than three. And uh, and then now you have to do kind of like a um, like bubble it up. So yeah, okay. Too lazy to do. Yeah. So you swap that in this case. Uh, and if you, since we're counting backwards, this will actually uh, this should bubble things up to the front. So like, yeah. Uh, we actually. Actually, okay. Actually, we could even generalize it slightly more by having four away. Uh, good. Oops. And I do not know how to do indentation in lead code yet or auto indent. Hmm. Uh, so we that we want to do that after we count, uh, and then now what happens with two? Then we just, is that a different case? Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, Uh, okay, so this this would get the really simple case right, I think. Uh, we could test it, but uh, I mean, I know that there's the return statement isn't quite right, but but it's, it's also wrong in a couple of other places. That's why I'm pausing for now. Um, so yeah, so this is this would be right, except for uh, uh, this example. Well, I mean, obviously, we have to also change this to max three, and also there's this like weird thing like if max care is less than three I think you return return max of zero and also I'm off by one this should be two but um okay uh okay but but now we have to consider this example three uh but let, let's see if it comes out first uh but yeah the example three we have to keep track of distinct numbers so uh and it you know, in this case, it just might not. I mean, actually, I know that this is not distinct because we don't do anything to handle it. But I just want to make sure we get the, uh, 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 we get some cases right so that we can, you know, steady on from a good base. Uh, okay, so that's good. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I mean, I think actually it shouldn't be that bad. I think if uh, I think we could just add a short loop uh, such that. I'm just seeing if there's like any maximum number of elements in a way, but it seems like it's okay then. Uh, uh, if so you do max of j, then we continue. Uh, okay. Thank you, next. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I guess we should kind of test this to make sure that it actually fails in the way that we expect first. Let's see if this gets this right. Okay. So I guess this is actually right. But uh, let me see if what happens after without this, just to cut them. I don't know. Sometimes you do get okay. So this actually gets the wrong answer expectedly. Okay. Um, because I would say there are definitely times in, in my career where like uh, there are a couple of things that you just get quote unquote lucky on and that they they work together to give you the, the right answer but not in a way that is actually correct uh, especially with these kind of feelings so uh, okay now let's test the other let's go back and test the other one just to make sure that I'm still okay uh, but this should be, I mean, oh, okay, fine. But this, this is easier, so this should be pretty okay. Uh, cool. Uh, and then now I guess I'm going to submit. Oh, no. Well, so it gives the wrong answer for this. Ex output is one when expected is two. I mean, they're not wrong, but I might have... Uh, mm, I mean, I mean, I probably do have. I, so one thing that I forgot to test is that, like a lo longer number of elements of array. Uh, it's very probable that I have a typo somewhere, or like an off by one somewhere. To be honest, max um, three. So okay. Uh, and since I'm feeling a little lazy, we could just print out uh, the the max values each step of the way. I know that would give me some gibberish in the beginning, add a gibberish of zero, but... Oh, well, and I'm using goat index. Oh. Okay, so, uh, so this is gibberish in the beginning, it gives me one zero, two one, two one, which looks good so far, five two one, five two one, and then up with one, but it forgets the three, what happened there, three? Dong dong. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let me put this here, print this just so I know what I. Hmm. So the other one says scale, but it, the last, it does do 5 to 2. And then. Oh, because max count is 3, so it never checks the last one. Whoops. Uh, hmm. Like that, maybe. Yeah, whoops. Um, yeah, as usual, uh, make sure you double check your, your uh, off by one hours. But uh, I guess before I go into my spiel, I should make sure that that's right first. Okay. So, yeah, definitely, uh, I, I got a little cocky and confident and I submitted before testing like an obvious case of having more than three numbers. <laughs> so, uh, to be honest, like, this is probably pretty bad. Uh, like, if you test anything, it, it should come up. But, uh, uh, and it turned out to be just a, a normal off by one, which sometimes happens when you try to code really quick. But definitely make sure you test uh, 